set in a magical theatre run by this strange eccentric character called Gregorius Theodore Oswald. And then the story that's being told is this strange weird tale about a boy who's snatched away from the earth, shoves his body into a wooden puppet, he then upsets this evil Moonbear King who pulls off his head, eats it and throws him away. But he manages to, to get up, run around and with the help of a strange weird cat, he finds these different objects that he can use as heads. And he gets sent on this adventure to try and get his way back home. Well, basically, they're the generals of our evil king, the Moonbear King. And he's the ultimate ruler of the moon. And in your adventure, you're going to have to face off against each one of these. But they all have their own different personalities. So that way in the game, we kind of bring that into those boss fights as you go through the game. So everything changes all the time in Puppeteer. As I say, that's one of the main things. So those boss battles, too, are all different. The reason that we went for a platformer was that, you know, that's where I started off. But it's also the language of games. Even non-gamers know how to move a stick left and right to move your character and press X to jump. We were kind of layering on top of a very basic language that everybody knew. I think I'm most proud of the huge amount of variety in this game. You will never see the same thing again. So every single model that's been made is made, you might run past it in two seconds, you'll never see it again. Everything is hand animated. So as I say, my staff hate me, but they're so proud of it because it's pure craftsmanship.